Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2021 drama series called Al Rawabi School for Girls. The story revolves around a high school girl named Mariam. She is timid and nice, but isn't afraid to speak when she has to. Mariam goes to a high-ranking prestigious school named Al Rawabi School for Girls. One day, she is beaten to the ground by a bunch of bullies who run away after knocking her out. Later, the bullies are interrogated by the police, but they are not at all regretful for their actions. In fact, they bluntly deny having anything to do with the incident. The scene shifts to two weeks earlier. Mariam gets on the bus on her way to school and sits with her only best friend, Dina. Behind them are the two most popular girls of the school, Leanne and Rania. Leanne is the leader and is feared by everyone. Her father is a powerful man who has authority over the principal of the school. Because of his influence, Leanne never gets into trouble. Even now she calls Mariam a nerd and makes fun of the shape of her body. Mariam quietly chooses to ignore her and starts chatting to Dina. Leanne has a secret boyfriend who her parents do not approve of. She is planning to escape at the next stop to meet him. When the said stop arrives, she spills tea on Dina and distracts everyone before secretly getting off the bus. Mariam sees her running away, but doesn't think much of it. At school, Dina tries to wash the stain off her shirt, but nothing works. It is not the first time that she was bullied. In fact, Leanne, Rania, and their third friend, Rukaya, are always known for creating trouble. Somewhere else in a public restroom, Leanne changes into revealing clothes and meets her boyfriend at a restaurant. It turns out that this is her first time meeting him after talking to him for months on Facebook. She is visibly nervous that someone might see them together. Back in school, their teacher, Miss Abir, introduces a new student to the class named Nof. Her unique sense of style and attitude is new to the girls. After school, when the bus is on the route home, Leanne sneaks in without anyone noticing. She tells Rania everything about her date. A curious Dina overhears their conversation and finds out Leanne is about to sneak out again on Wednesday. Later that evening, Mariam and her family are having dinner. Her father is a fun-loving man, while her mother is more on the stricter side. Both of them love Mariam and her younger brother dearly. Before going to bed, Mariam calls her boyfriend Yuzan. They have been dating for about two weeks, but haven't had many chances to talk to each other. Mariam feels bad that she hasn't told Dina about their relationship yet, considering the fact that they are best friends. As they talk, Yuzan jokingly calls her a nerd. The comment hits home to Mariam because her bullies always call her that. The following day during gym class, the girls are playing basketball. Mariam and Leanne are on the same team, but Leanne refuses to pass the ball to her. When urged by the gym teacher, she hits Mariam with the ball. The teacher scolds her, but she doesn't stop making fun of the poor girl. Even though Leanne is disrespectful to everyone, she is sent back to the sidelines with no consequences whatsoever. Later, the girls are in the changing room when Leanne notices Mariam staring at them. She deliberately bumps into her and in turn, accuses her of grabbing her inappropriately. Nof, who witnessed the encounter, knows that Leanne is at fault, but she doesn't speak up. Eventually, Leanne manipulates everyone into thinking Mariam grabbed her inappropriately. They call her a freak and make her cry at something that wasn't even her fault. After the incident, Mariam is eager to take revenge. When Dina informs her of Leanne's plan to sneak out again, she goes to the principal and tells on her. After that, Leanne is summoned to the principal's office and called out for skipping school. If anyone else would have done the same, they would have immediately been expelled. But since this is Leanne, the principal lets her off with only a warning. Even the teacher, Miss Abir, is surprised at the fact that she didn't get into trouble. The principal's only explanation is that she doesn't want to anger Leanne's father. The bullies know that someone from their bus must have ratted Leanne out to the principal. They blackmail a janitor into finding out who it is, ready to teach them a lesson. By the end of the day, they discover it was Mariam. Enraged by her audacity, they call her to the back of the school and beat her up. The poor thing can do nothing but cry for help. Eventually, Leanne shoves her head to the concrete and knocks her out. Then the girls run away before anyone catches them. Some minutes later, No finds Mariam lying unconscious and calls the ambulance. In the following scene, the bullies are being interrogated by the police. They smugly claim that they had nothing to do with the incident and even go as far as to make fun of Mariam for getting hurt. A flashback shows us that Nof had witnessed the girls beating up Mariam, but Rania threatened her to keep quiet. So, when the officer asks her if she knows who the culprit is, she keeps quiet. A few days later, when Mariam wakes up, an assembly is held in the school to find out who the bullies are. Mariam is asked to tell the truth, but she is so scared that she can hardly form a sentence. At last, she claims her memory is hazy, so she doesn't remember who it was. The principal is relieved that Leanne didn't get into trouble. The policeman then gives the students a chance to confess if they know something. Leanne takes the opportunity to disclose that she did in fact push Mariam, but it was in self-defense of Mariam touching her inappropriately. The girls support her statement, and no one believes Mariam when she says otherwise. No feels bad for her, but isn't brave enough to speak up. The officials believe Mariam is a pervert and suspend her for two weeks, while Leanne yet again gets off with a simple warning. Mariam's own mother believes Leanne's lies and thinks her daughter is a freak. Mariam's world shatters into pieces and she feels the lowest she has ever been. 
but the sadness eventually turns into frustration and anger. For the next two weeks, she is sent to a therapist to get treated, but she only talks about Leanne in all her sessions. Life gets even tougher for her when Dina stops replying to her texts and ditches her completely. Two weeks later, Leanne and her group walk into the school like they own it. They are not in the least scared that Mariam will expose the truth, because even if she does, no one will believe her anyway. Then they are told about the national football team recruitment, where only two girls can be selected. Rukaya wants to be included, but Reina and Leanne disregard her completely, claiming that no one can compete with them. Rukaya feels left out and frustrated, but she doesn't voice her feelings. This eventually causes a rift in their relationship. Mariam arrives at the school and meets Dina. It is revealed that Dina found out about Yuzan and Mariam's relationship and is mad she hid it till now. Moreover, since she was not in the shower room that day, she believes Leanne's story. Mariam is heartbroken by her friend's indifference. When she finally walks into the classroom, the bullies make fun of her yet again. Mariam rushes to the bathroom and executes her first plan to destroy Leanne and her group. She breaks the fire alarm, causing everyone in the school to run outside. When no one is in the classroom, she steals Leanne's phone. Then, she plays the voice message of the girls insulting Miss Abir in the announcement room. The entire school hears them talking badly about the poor woman. After the incident, the girls are taken to Miss Abir's office. Although they try to play the victim, Miss Abir does not listen. She punishes them by assigning them to janitor's duty for an entire day and bans them from taking part in all sport activities. This would mean they will not get to try out for the football team. The girls reluctantly agree to do as told. They wear the janitor uniforms and clean the school ground while the other girls laugh at them. Mariam is sitting on a bench, proud that her plan worked perfectly. Just then she is approached by Nof who claims to know who was behind the prank. Initially, Mariam denies being involved, but it doesn't convince Nof. She promises not to tell anyone, but asks her to be careful. A flashback shows us that Nof was kicked out of her last school for hacking into the school's database and stealing midterm questions. Later that day, the girls are called to the auditorium to attend an anti-bullying program. When the presenter asks someone to volunteer as a victim of bullying, Miss Abir urges Leanne to go forward, much to her annoyance. Then the presenter asks someone else to be the bully for the act. While most of the girls are scared to bully Leanne even as an act, No raises her hand and surprises everyone. She does very well in the enactment and insults Leanne. Leanne, on the other hand, tries to intimidate her, but can do nothing in front of the teachers. By the end of it, everyone is calling Leanne stinky. She is embarrassed and most of all furious at No for messing with her. After the program, Leanne asks the principal to let them join the football tryouts as a favor. They are given permission against Miss Abir's wish. During gym class, Nof tells Mariam that she was supposed to graduate last year before she was kicked out of school. She has caused her mother a lot of trouble and so didn't want to get involved in another scandal. Mariam understands her situation and forgives her. Then for the tryouts, the bullies also take part in the game, except Rukaya, who doesn't want to compete with her friends. Eventually, Mariam has to go one-on-one -on -one against Leanne. She kicks the ball, but it hits Leanne on the head. Enraged, she tries to hit her back, but is stopped by the gym teacher. After the practice, Raina reveals that she found Nof watching them while they were beating up Mariam. She hasn't told her friends because she didn't think Nof would rat out Leanne. The girls now suspect Nof to be behind the voice note prank. After school, they attack Nof's little sister and grab her inhaler. When Nof tries to stop them, they threaten her to stay away from them for her own good. Nof has now had enough of the bullies. She cannot risk her sister being hurt, so she decides to help Mariam in whatever she is planning. That night, she runs to Mariam's house and offers help. Although skeptical at first, Mariam reveals the plan that she has to take proper revenge on the bullies and the corrupt principal. They decide to strike Rukaya first because she is the most vulnerable of them all. The next day at school, Mariam walks into the cafeteria to see Dina with the group of bullies. They are making her compete with the girl to see who can eat more. The girls make fun of them, but a naive Dina thinks that they are laughing with her and not at her. After the competition, Mariam tells Dina that she is being made fun of, but the girl refuses to listen to her. She argues that it was fun and goes back to her new friends. Later that day, the school is organizing a charity festival event where the boys from other schools are also allowed to come. As soon as school is over, all the girls run to the bathroom to get ready. It is packed with several of them doing their hair and makeup while Mariam is in the stall getting ready for the plan. She also gets a text from Yuzan who is going to be at the festival. Lately, she has been so preoccupied with the bullies that she has hardly talked to him. Meanwhile, Leanne and Rainier are excited because both their boyfriends will also be at the festival. Leanne takes a picture of herself with her bra strap showing to send to her boyfriend. Rukaya, who is more reserved and conservative than the other two, is shocked. When she warns them that the guy might send it to someone else, they jokingly call her a prude. Rukaya knows that they are not joking and actually think of her as stuck up. To fit in with them, she claims that she has also been talking to a guy on Facebook for a week, but he hardly has any clear pictures of him on his profile. Leanne and Rainia think that it is sketchy, but Rukaya seems to be smitten with the guy. 
When Dina comes out of the bathroom stall in her outfit, the girls are overly nice to her. Rukaya offers to help her remove a stain from her white jeans, but instead, she applies red nail polish on it and takes a picture. They soon post it online and make a fool out of Dina. Everyone laughs at her and she runs away crying. When she is sad and alone, Mariam approaches her. Dina apologizes for being rude and the friends reconcile. Mariam also tells her about the plan to sabotage Leanne and her group. When No finds out that she shared the plan with Dina, she freaks out. If anyone finds out about it, she will immediately be expelled and no other school will take her. Since the plan is a serious matter for her, she doesn't want to involve an outsider like Dina. Eventually, Mariam and Nof get into a fight because of the matter. Nof refuses to help and walks away. Mariam is back to where she started because the next part of the plan was entirely based on Nof and her hacking skill. A few hours later, the festival starts and many people gather at the school. Mariam and Dina are in the cookie stall when Nof approaches them and agrees to help them again. She still doesn't like Dina, but is willing to give her a chance. The girls finally reveal that the secret guy Rukaya has been talking to for the last week is Mariam. They are planning to use the non-existent guy to get Rukaya in trouble. Since Leanne and Rania are preoccupied with their boyfriends, Rukaya will be alone for most of the night, so it is the best time to strike her. Following that, Leanne sings a song for everyone, while Miss Abir keeps the girls and boys in the audience from getting a bit too close. After the performance, Mariam is approached by Yazan. He tries conversing with her, but she is too occupied with Leanne to focus. Eventually, Yazan calls her out for being an awful friend and breaks up with her. The commotion doesn't bother Mariam too much because she instantly goes back to analyzing the bullies. Elsewhere, Leanne, Rania, and their boyfriends are in a private area far from the crowd. Rukaya feels out of place because the couples talk to each other and she has nothing to do. Mariam texts her as the fake guy and keeps her entertained. When the couples get hungry, they ask Rukaya to bring them drinks and food because she is free anyway. She reluctantly obliges and goes back to the festival. As Rukaya is buying drinks, Dina spills them on her to keep her distracted for a while longer. Meanwhile, No sends Miss Abir after Leanne and Rania so they would flee the location they were hanging out at. The plan works efficiently, and when Rukaya returns, she sees her friends have ditched her. She even tries to call them, but no one picks up the phone. Frustrated, she leaves the drinks on the bench and goes to look for them. Eventually, she finds them in the cafeteria, but the girls are not apologetic at all. They laugh it off and claim that they were distracted. Having had enough of them, Rukaya leaves to spend the night on her own. At the same time, Dina takes a picture of the couples in the cafeteria. Rukaya is now on her own and only has her secret boyfriend to talk to. Taking advantage of her vulnerability, Mariam sends her a picture of a random guy and asks for her picture without her a job. The picture is a link that will give her access to Rukaya's social media. Thinking it is a photo of her secret boyfriend, Rukaya clicks on it and falls right into their trap. Rukaya goes to the bathroom and takes a picture as her boyfriend had asked. She sends it to Mariam to prove that she is not approved. Now, with the picture and access to her social media, the group can finally execute the last step of the plan. Only a minute later, the picture is uploaded to Facebook from Rukaya's page. Everyone at the festival starts to look at her and whisper. When she finally opens her phone, she freezes in shock. Several people have commented under her post, calling her immodest. Everyone sees the picture of Rukaya without her hijab. When she starts to hyperventilate in front of the crowd, her friends come by her side to help. Later, her mother talks to the principal and permanently withdraws her from the school. She also calls Rukaya a broken vase that no one will want to marry. The next day, Miss Abir informs her classmates that Rukaya will never be returning to school. Leanne and Rania are furious at the fake boyfriend who tricked the poor girl into taking the picture. They text him on his fake Facebook, saying that they will make him pay for what he did. Mariam sees the text and replies back with a snarky comment. Dina, on the other hand, doesn't feel good about what they did. The bullies used to pull stupid pranks on them, but in turn, they have completely ruined Rukaya's life. Still, Mariam doesn't feel a hint of regret and is ready to go for the second target, Rania. Nof is somewhere in the middle. She knows what they did was too much, but also feels like Rukaya deserved it. Later, Nof gets a notification saying that Rania's boyfriend, Ahmed, has followed her on Instagram. She remembers that he had complimented her on the day of the charity event. She doesn't think much of it and follows him back. When Rania gets a hint of this, she slams Nof into the wall, threatening her to stay away from her boyfriend. This time, Nof doesn't back down and refuses to unfollow him. An enraged Rania throws her phone to the ground and shatters it. Next, we see Rania leading her classmates during gym class. The girls are eagerly awaiting the results of the tryouts. Leanne and Rania are sure that they will be selected, but the gym teacher announces Mariam's name instead of Leanne's. According to her, an individual should have a good attitude alongside being a good sportsman to be selected. Since Leanne didn't show good sportsmanship, Mariam was selected in her place. Leanne, who feels entitled to everything she wants, is furious after the incident. When Mariam is alone in the shower room, she spies on her. After she leaves, Leanne snoops through her bag and finds her journal. 
Fortunately for Mariam, she hasn't mentioned her plan in the notebook, but she has written about how she is struggling with her mental health. To get back at her for taking her spot, Leanne tears the pages of the notebook and spreads them around the school. Everyone starts calling Mariam crazy and urges her to go to a mental hospital. Seeing her most personal thoughts being passed around, Mariam feels broken. She hides inside a bathroom stall and breaks down crying. At the same time, Leanne and her group of friends find her in the stall and throw her pages at her. Even after they walk away, Mariam cannot get herself to go to the class. She stays there for the next period and is later approached by Dina. Dina tries to cheer her up, but Mariam has had enough of the bullying. She doesn't even want to take revenge and is ready to transfer to another school if it means the girl's leaving her alone. Nof tries convincing her otherwise, but it doesn't work. Nof doesn't want the bullies to win, but to Mariam, they have already won. For the next few days, she shuts out everyone, including her friends. Her therapist sees that she is not angry anymore, but mistakes her numbness for healing. In reality, Mariam has spiraled into a depression, and her only way out is to take revenge. Meanwhile, Rukaya has not been picking up her phone or replying to texts. Leanne and Rania are worried, so they go to her house to check up on her. Although nervous about talking to Rukaya's mother, they knock on the door and wait for a reply. Rukaya's mother refuses to let them in and orders them to stop calling. The girls leave half-heartedly while Rukaya watches them from her room. Her mother calls her a disgrace to the family and compares her to her sisters who are way more beautiful and modest. Rukaya has no one but herself to rely on. Mariam has completely ruined her life as she will not be allowed to go to any school. In the following scene, we see Nof and Dina meet at Dina's house. They do not want to let Mariam lose hope that easily. Mariam is about to tell her mother about her plans to change schools, but stops when she gets a text from Dina calling her over. She rushes to her house thinking that Dina must be in trouble, but finds out otherwise. Dina has overheard the bullies planning to sneak out during their school trip. They will surely meet their boyfriends that night, which means the girls have the opportunity to catch them red-handed. Dina also shows them a picture she took of Leanne, Rania, and their boyfriends on the night of the festival. They send the picture to Leanne through a fake Facebook profile in hopes of making her nervous. As soon as the bullies click on the picture, Nof hacks their socials and gains access to them. Using the information, they plan when and where to attack the girls. The following morning, everyone wakes up fresh, excited about the school trip. Leanne is in the bathroom grooming herself when her brother Hazim asks her to come outside. He is a short-tempered, egocentric man who likes to control every decision in his sister's life. He and Leanne's family are strictly against her having a relationship with a man before marriage. Similarly, Rania also has problems of her own. Her father is an angry alcoholic who beats her up when triggered. Although he signed the consent form yesterday, as she is about to leave for the trip, he orders her to stay home. Her mother comes to her aid and allows her to go. Hazim drops the girls off at the bus stop. Before they separate, Leanne notices a gun in his car. She asks him what it is for, but he dismisses her concerns. The entire school leaves for a trip accompanied by Ms. Abir to take care of them. Mariam constantly keeps an eye on Leanne's social media to see who she is texting. When they reach the resort, the girls are assigned a room to share between three people. They had expected Nof, Dina, and Mariam would be in the same room, but to their surprise, Nof ends up with the bullies. Mariam reveals that she deliberately assigned Nof to the enemy's room so she can keep an eye on them. Nof, on the other hand, is not happy about the decision because she wasn't told about it. She and Mariam get into an argument because of the matter. Mariam seems to believe that the girls are willing to do anything for their plan, but Nof tells her otherwise. Later, she dreadfully enters the room and meets the evil duo. They get into an altercation yet again and decide to mind their own business for the rest of the trip. After settling in, all the girls hang out by the pool and have a lot of fun. Some of them go to play volleyball while others remain at the pool. Leanne decides to go to the spa for some alone time and finds out Nof is also there. All of a sudden, an old pervert approaches Nof and touches her inappropriately. She tries to retreat, but he doesn't back down. Leanne sees her struggling and immediately rushes to her rescue. She even makes sure Nof is all right and calls Ms. Abir to take care of the situation. Nof starts to realize that Leanne isn't as bad as she makes her out to be. In the following scene, Leanne and Rainia return to their room to find Nof alone. Rainia tries to insult her, as always, but this time, Leanne stops her. Leanne has been so good to Nof that Nof no longer feels good about the plan. At dinner, she tells her friends that she doesn't want to go through with the plan anymore. Mariam is left speechless and blames the bullies for brainwashing her. Nof, in turn, argues she is not a child. She knows that what the girls did to Mariam was wrong, but if they do the same, they won't be any better. She wants to actually talk to Leanne and Rainia about their behavior and solve it the right way. Mariam laughs at the thought and kicks her out of their friend group, promising to cover the plan on her own. A few hours later, Leanne and Rainia excitedly get ready for the club. To everyone's surprise, Leanne asks Nof to join them. Initially, she is skeptical, but then agrees to come. When Rainia retaliates, Leanne tells her about what happened in the spa. 
Moreover, if Nov comes with them to the club, she cannot inform the teachers. Soon, Ms. Zabir does a nightly check to see if everyone is in their rooms. Leanne and the group are dressed to go to the club, but they pretend to sleep and wear eye masks to not get caught. After she leaves, they don't waste any time before heading to the club. Although they are underage, they manage to get inside because of Leanne's boyfriend's influence. Leanne and Raina dance with the guys while Nof sits by herself. Back at the resort, Mariam contemplates if she should go through with the plan against Nof's wish. Dina wants her to talk to Nof first, but she is too eager to make her bullies pay. Moreover, they might not get a better opportunity after tonight. So, she tells Miss Abir about the missing girls, unaware that Nof is also with them. Dina goes to check up on Nof and finds her missing. She realizes that she joined the bullies, but it is too late to stop Miss Abir now. In the meantime, Raina's boyfriend Ahmed tries getting closer to Nof. When she calls him out for cheating on his girlfriend, the guy tells her to let loose for the night. From Raina's point of view, it looks like Nof is touching Ahmed, not the other way around. She launches at Nof and pushes her away. Ahmed sees he is about to get caught and plays the victim. An enraged Raina orders Nof to leave immediately. Nof feels humiliated and sad about something that isn't even her fault. She runs to the bathroom to get away from the group. Meanwhile, back at the resort, Mariam and Dina call her several times, but the call goes straight to voicemail. Miss Abir and the gym teacher leave to look for the missing girls. Mariam still blames Nof for being stupid enough to go. It surprises Dina because the old Mariam would have felt bad for putting Nof in such a situation. If she gets caught, she is sure to be expelled, but Mariam still doesn't regret her decision. By now, Miss Abir reaches the club and threatens the bouncer to let her in. At the same time, Leanne and Nof meet in the washroom. Nof notices the text from Dina and finds out that Miss Abir is looking for them. They immediately run outside to alert Rania, but Miss Abir finds her first. Ahmed senses that he might get in trouble for being with an underage girl. Rania realizes how much of a coward he is when he runs away as soon as she is caught. When the teacher asks her about her missing friends, she covers up for both Leanne and Nof and claims that she came to the club alone. In the resort, Leanne and Nof lie that they were looking for Rania and hence were not in their room earlier. In the end, only Rania gets in trouble. On the first day back to school after the trip, Rania arrives with a bruised eye. It is evident that her father hit her for what she did. Thankfully, the school lets her off with only a warning. Even Dina and No feel bad for her, but not Mariam. She is proud of what she did and is ready for her final attack. She hasn't talked to Dina or Nov since the trip and has no one to stop her from what she is about to do. In the washroom, Leanne helps her friend apply makeup to cover the bruise. Even though Leanne didn't get into trouble for what they did together, Rania doesn't resent her for it. She knows that if Hazim would have found out about his sister partying, he would have done more than just hit her. Next Thursday, Leanne plans to cut classes to meet her boyfriend, Leith, again. She has done it numerous times before and is confident that everything will go well. However, after everything that has been happening to their group lately, Rania is skeptical. She wants Leanne to be extra careful this time. As they are discussing this, Mariam is in the bathroom stall eavesdropping on their conversation. During the lunch break, Nof thanks Rania for saving her the night of the trip. Rania also says sorry for lashing out at her when it was Ahmed's fault. They sit together for lunch, much to Mariam's annoyance. That night, she looks for Leanne's boyfriend's lace information on the internet to use it against her. At Leanne's home, her younger brother barges into her room while she is talking to Leith on the phone. She quickly ends the call, making him suspicious. He checks her phone, but fortunately for Leanne, she saved Leith's number under Rania's name. Leanne complains to her father that she doesn't get any privacy at home, but even he supports his son's right to Leanne's personal life. The following morning, she runs away from the bus and goes for a drive with her boyfriend. Back at the school, an award ceremony to present the principal with an award for her excellent work is about to begin. Miss Abir notices Leanne is absent and suspects she must have run away from the bus again. But when she tells the principal about it, she is dismissed as usual. The principal doesn't want to create drama before being honored by the Board of Education itself. Meanwhile, Leanne and Leith arrive at his bachelor pad. They have gone to his bachelor pad so they can enjoy their time without having to worry about someone else seeing them. Before going in, she tells them that they are just gonna hang out and not do anything else. Leith, who just wants her to feel comfortable, is ready to go somewhere else if she wants to. Leanne happily agrees to stay with him at the house for the day. At the school, the principal is busy with the award ceremony. Miss Abir is annoyed at the fact that she treats her like a pawn and lets Leanne get away with everything. To teach her a lesson, she breaks into the office and calls Leanne's father to inform him of her absence. She also tells him that this is not the first time Leanne has run away from school. The entire family immediately comes to the school to look for their daughter and talk to the principal. Meanwhile, Rania is going through the pictures on her phone when she comes across the picture of Leanne, Rania, and their boyfriends on the night of the festival. On zooming into it, 
she sees Dina's reflection in the back. She realizes that Dina and her group are the ones who posted the picture of Rukaya without her hijab. She stops Dina and Nof on their way to the award function and asks them why they did all that. Nof quickly apologizes, but claims that they do not have time to talk about the past. The girls tell Rainya that Mariam is surely planning to do something to get Leanne in trouble. Rainya freaks out, knowing how strict a person Hazim is. Somewhere else, Leanne is having the time of her life with her boyfriend. For the first time, they are not paranoid about someone noticing them and can actually enjoy their time together. Back in school, Nof tells Rainya everything they have done and apologizes to her. Rainya is ready to forget about the past if it means they can save Leanne now. They run to stop Mariam, but see that Leanne's father and Hazim are already in school. They meet Miss Abir and ask her to explain everything she knows. She takes the opportunity to make the principal seem like an awful person who doesn't care for the student's safety. When Hazim finds out about his sister's boyfriend, he is beyond furious. The thought of his sister with the man is enough to make him go on a rampage. Mariam types in Leigh's bachelor pad's location in her phone and is about to send it to Hazim to make sure Leanne is caught. Rainya, Dina, and Nov stop her and beg her to rethink her decision. Rainya even apologizes and agrees to never trouble anyone again if Mariam lets this one go. However, Mariam doesn't listen to any of them and sends the location. The damage is done and no one can stop Hazim now. As soon as he receives the text, he makes his way to the bachelor pad. Leanne is in Leigh's clothes watching a movie with him. He tells her that he loves her for the first time. Everything's going well until suddenly, someone bangs on the door. Leanne recognizes her brother's voice and panics. She knows that no one can save her against Hazim's temper. Outside, Hazim finds Leanne's clothes left out to dry. He assumes that she has slept with her boyfriend and glows red in anger. In school, Leanne's father faces the principal and throws her award to the ground. He promises to destroy her and the entire school before storming off. Everyone is shocked because the man has the power to do exactly what he said he would. After he leaves, the principal looks at Miss Abir in disappointment and asks her if she is happy. Seeing her lose, Mariam smirks, proud that her plan worked perfectly. Somewhere else, Hazim eventually breaks down the door and attacks Leith. Leanne can do nothing but beg him to stop. He does stop for a second, but then he brings out the gun and points it at her. Leanne cries and begs for her life, but he doesn't listen. At last, she closes her eyes, accepting her death. The principal is in her office thinking about the events of the day. A picture on her desk reveals that Leith is actually her son. In the last scene, we see Mariam proudly walking down the hallways. She sees Rania crying, but doesn't stop to check up on her. Whatever might be the consequences of her actions, it is clear that she doesn't regret it.